आदेश आदेश आई एम शिशिर शिशिर कुमार फ्रॉम द नाथ पंथ ऑफ द नवनाथ सिस्टम ऑफ सनातन धर्म इन नाथ आई एम कॉल रुद्रनाथ एंड टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ जीरो द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ नथिंगनेस हु वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम अ जीरो हु वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम नथिंग नो बडी बट वेन वी डाइव डीप इन टू आवर सेल्व वी रीच समेयर वेर नथिंगनेस इज एवरीथिंग इन योर डेली लाइफ इन योर डेली बिजी लाइफ इन द रश टू गेट नेम फेम एंड मनी देर मस्ट बी सम डे फॉर अ फ्यू मिनट्स और फॉर अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स यू थिंक दैट यू नीड अ ब्रेक यू नीड नथिंग यू नीड पीस ऑफ माइंड यू नीड हैप्पीनेस द ओनली वे ऑफ अचीविंग दिस हैप्पीनेस दिस पीस इज समिटिंग टू नथिंगनेस वट इज नथिंगनेस वट इज जीरो we say that zero means something that is not having any value but then zero also has the power to make value of a numerical to infinity when you read the sanatan dharma when you read about shiva when you read about shankara when you read about mahadev you come to know that mahadev is absolute also it says that mahadev has no thoughts mahadev shiva has no intelligence he is zero it was only when adya mahamaya kali mus with shiva that a intelligent universe came into being so the sanatan dharma teaches us that we are brahma matlab we are the god we are the creators the day you understand that you are a part of creator you will become zero because you have the infinite power and what is beyond an infinite nothing how do i explain this when you do spiritual religious meditational practices you are taught about various exercises that help you to distract your attention to something else there was a disciple of a great guru and he was good in learning mantras tantras and other practices but he even after having so much power was very away from realizing himself and he had no idea why was he not achieving the goal to self his guru said you need a break so what break should he be given so there was the cow in the ashram the guru told now it is your job that you look after the cow and this is your only job you will eat you will sleep and you will look after the cow so for a disciple who wants to succeed the words of guru are the words of god 24 hours the disciple he kept an eye on the cow 
and he just wanted to see how it behaves when is it hungry what are the signs when does it look to the left when does it look to the right what happens when it has to answer the nature's call when does it uses its vocal cord and so every body gesture in the next seven days this disciple was perfect he knew when the cow needed what and he felt more connected to the cow than to the people around then the guru said you need to keep this cow in your room and you need to take care of it so the cow was removed from the shed and it was kept in the disciples room now disciple used to live with the cow it used to look at it it used to give it food it used to clean it he just went outside to cook food get food for himself and the other things but most of the time he was with the cow so with time he started connecting himself with the cow then the third week guru said now you also need to cook your food in the room you're not leaving the room leaving the cow alone as said to the disciple gave his 100% to the cow and with this he was so connected with the cow that he even did not need food he used to enjoy the grass that the cow eat he started behaving like a cow he was so connected with the cow so in the fourth week some of the disciples told guru that this guy has gone mad you need to treat him because he is behaving like a cow he does not speak when you ask him something he will try to imitate the voice of a cow he is eating grass and so on so the guru ordered that this disciple of his the shishya should be brought out of the room and then he was washed properly he, the cow was taken out of his room and then he was left with guru for a day and then he started observing his guru instead and it took him a while to realize that what he was doing was wrong he is a human and then he became normal the guru told him the moment you try to concentrate on things that is not you you become it because this is human so you need to concentrate more on yourself then than concentrating on things around concentrating on the props around so as we live in this material world we try to imitate things we try to imitate a lifestyle we try to imitate a person you meet a guru you try to imitate his lifestyle you try to imitate what he says but you never try to imitate yourself because you never try to know who you are so there is said somebody deep inside you who is managing everything who is managing that with your hand you will take the food and put it in your mouth and not in your nose or in your ear then there sits him or her who will tell you okay this food is good this food is not good it is salty it, is su- it has sugar then it goes into your stomach and then that little thing breaks the food you don't need to worry about this biological process of breaking the food the vitamins goes where it, it needs to go the protein builds your muscle the fat is stored the carbohydrate runs your body and then there is your brain that is running and then when it comes about your brain that little person with the signals that it gets from your eyes and ear interprets what is going around you so such a smart being is inside you and you never try to know what is it when you know what is it you will understand that there is this absolute being sitting inside you that was the part of the universe that is a part of the universe and you have this infinite power of controlling things imagine a food grain that you break into different constituent and use it as your body needs it you need to realize your own body you need to understand your breathing habits you need to close your ears you need to close your eyes you need to close your five senses and hear the om karna that is going inside you the infinite om karna that is going inside you you need to connect with the universal energy 
that made the Big Bang happen. And you need to realize that you are one part of the same great energy that has created this universe. And when you know that you are part of that universe, you are absolute. There is nothing outside you. There is nothing inside you. It is you. Everywhere it is you. I am you. You are you. Everything around you, living, non-living, is you. And when this happens, there is a non-existence of things around you. The reason for it being is, you know that everything is your own extension. So there is nothing that is outside you. And when you reach to that moment, you are absolute. You don't need anything then. There are no remorse, no happiness, no sadness, no needs. And that is when you become nothing and still you have everything that the universe can give you. We, with this channel, with our journey with this channel, ancient one, will be doing a lot of practices, a lot of exercises to know ourselves and recognize ourselves with the absolute infinite energy, the universe, which is a part of us. That is it for today. Adesh, Adesh, Alakh, Adesh.